Today, I'm holding in my hand an M1 jungle carbine, and you say, Paul, I know about the M1 carbine. I'm a pretty hip cat. What makes it a jungle carbine? Well, if you look at the end right here, you'll see something that's unique or different. It's the addition of a flared muzzle brake. If you know anything about the World War II firearms, most of them did not have this, but they decided, hey, we could put on a muzzle brake and tamp down some of that flash, and these became nicknamed the jungle carbines. If you think about Vietnam, you think M16A1, right? That was the issue rifle, but it wasn't initially the issue rifle. When we started sending troops over to Vietnam, our troops were not initially combat troops. They were MAC SOG, or the Military Advisory Command Studies and Observation Group. First guys, the first Americans to go to Vietnam were there to advise and instruct not to engage in combat. What did we have at the very beginning of our involvement in Vietnam? Literal Connex boxes full of M1 carbines. 